Hey guys, Iris here. Today I'll be showing you how to create an event flyer like this one in PictoChart in less than five minutes. Are we ready? Let's jump right in. Now let's start by adding a background color to our flyer design. Since I already have my hex color code, all we have to do is type it in here and we're ready to go. Let's add in some text. The way we do this is simply by selecting the text tool over here in the left tool pane. Now we can change the text color. Here in the colors drop down menu, you can either choose from one of the predefined colors or you can go right ahead and add your own by simply typing in your hex codes. We can change the font as well. In this case, let's go ahead and change it to Able. You can easily scale your text in one of two ways. The first way is you can change the font size by clicking on the drop down menu. Or you can drag the little circles located on the sides of the text box here while you hold down Shift. Holding down the shift key works to keep your proportions in check, and it's definitely a faster and more intuitive way to scale text. Let's speed this up for a second while I add more text. Lines can be a great way to break up your visuals and give structure to your compositions and layout. To add in some lines, let's head over to the graphics panel and click the lines dropdown, and then we'll simply drag it in. By default, this line is set to black, so let's go ahead and change the color to white. Let's also change the line from dash to solid. Hmm, yes, that looks just about right. Let's speed this up while I add the rest of the text in the same style. Now it's time to add a QR code. You can do this by clicking on graphics. Hit shapes and icons, and then type in QR. Let's now drag it onto the canvas and change the color to white. You'll also be able to add your social handles as well as icons in the exact same way. Let's speed things up while I do that. Let's now add your website's URL at the bottom of the design so your audience will know how to reach you. Now let's put the text in all caps and let's also add a bit of letter spacing for a nice visual effect. Yes, that looks good to me. Now you may have noticed that the final visual had an image inside of a brush shape. Let's do this one together. All we have to do is head over once more to our graphics panel and select photo frame. Here we're interested in the brush shape so let's drag this one onto the canvas. As you can see, you can choose from a wide variety of different frames to fit your designs, including adding photos to letters and numbers. Let's now replace the existing photo with one that's a better fit. To do this, we'll head over to Photos where we can choose from a built-in gallery of beautiful images. The best part about this is they're royalty free. Let's do a search for cars. Yes, this one looks like a good fit and then we'll drag it onto the frame on the canvas and see how it snaps. Now let's add an image overlay and apply our green highlight color. For that, we'll head over to shapes and icons, search for brush, add in the corresponding brush and scale it up so it fits exactly the photo frame underneath. Now let's change the color of our brush shape to our highlight green and then lower the opacity to 50%. Yes, 50% looks just about right. And so there you have it, a neat looking flyer in less than five minutes. Oh, and just one last thing. If you'd like to create your flyer in a number of different color variations, a super quick way to do this is by using a feature called color schemes. For this flyer, we already have some predefined color schemes, and in order to flip the entire thing on the fly, all we have to do is click the different color schemes. Also, just to quickly mention that you can add your own brand color palettes in there as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy designing!